Hello everybody, how are you? I'm fine, thanks to God. In this particular presentation, we'll see now about the backstepping control. So what does it mean by backstepping control and why we use this backstepping control in this 21st century modern control uh, department? So this uh, backstepping control is in order to uh, control uh, the nailing systems. It's one of the technique by the way, uh, the very price difference between the uh, linear system and the nonlinear system is linear system have their own uh, uh, operating or manipulating or controlling algorithms. But when we came to this uh, uh, nonlinear system, so nonlinear systems are not be controlled in a very well organized manner. There, there, there are their own. Uh, uh, techniques by the way there are a methods there are a methodologies in order to uh, control the nonlinear system because every system nowadays you are busy use it in this uh, 21st century in our daily life is the nonlinear control so physically nothing is linear nothing is linear physically or at the ground everything we use it we touch and we see in the entire planet is nonlinear system so the target is uh, during the manipulating the internal algorithm or the internal mechanics of a particular system have uh, a controlling system. So if we insert a controlling algorithm, we use it that particular thing what uh, you, uh, what we want. So which means that uh, systems are physically uh, uh, maybe nonlinear. So we imp implementing such kind of controlling algorithm and we reuse it the system for further uh, parser application in order to manipulate in order to control in order to hand over in order to handle uh, nonlinear systems we must apply a controlling algorithm so here as you can see from this particular video uh, the backstepping control is one of the control algorithm one of the control algorithm so there are a method so how we uh, uh, compute the nonlinear control system by using it is a backstep so the first thing as you can see from this slide is you know start with unknown stable system this is a very pressed step we have to start with unknown uh, stable system let's by defining let v or uh, let by e, u or w is equivalent to a virtual uh, a control system so by implementing that unknown virtual control system and we must design a controller for the next subsystem so uh, that is the, the second step the third step is continue this step until the final outer control signal is reached which means that there are u so until we got this U, we must uh, keep going forward in order to get the next uh, final uh, outer control signal must be reached. So there are three steps here. The, the first step is start with unknown stable system. The second step is design the controller for the next outer subsystem. The third is continue this until the final outer control signal is reached. So let's start uh, with this particular example. So uh, let's start with this particular example. Okay, uh, we'll start with this uh, example. There are so many examples as you can see from uh, this uh, slide. So we'll start with this uh, uh, system here. So the first example is uh, uh, computing this one. So let's start uh, uh, this example. So which is a linear system as you can see from uh, this uh, slide. So which is uh, second order uh, system n is equivalent to 2 so which is a second order system 
So, for this uh, second order uh, uh, linear system, we must implement the uh, control algorithm. Before that, we have to say uh, the system, you know, here the first thing is, you know, consider equation one. Look here, this is an equation one. So, this is equation one. So, this is equation one. This is equation one, and this is equation two. So, we have to use those equations this is equation two this is equation one so uh, this equation press equation is in a subsystem one so which is a subsystem subsystem one it's not a, a state space which is a subsystem so which is a subsystem one which is a subsystem one and this is a subsystem two so by uh, letting this subsystem to so the objective is to stabilize the system and regulate states at origin so we have to bring the system at equilibrium point so equilibrium point is in our systems are now operating at origin here so let's this is our x uh, uh, one and this point is our x uh, x x2 so this is our x2 so suppose the system is in a starting from uh, this uh, particular uh, point and we need to uh, give uh, from here from it starts from the origin and we must operate that particular system uh, at origin so if it is a linear system the system is uh, unstable system the system is in a diverges from the origin so this is an origin which is an operating point x is equivalent to 1 x equivalent to 1 i mean x equivalent to 0 0 so this is an equation i mean the equilibrium point the operating point so our target is you know to bring uh, this system at this particular equilibrium at 0 0 point so to do that we have uh, two steps the first step is in a starting uh, with a uh, unknown uh, system the second system is design uh, controller for that particular uh, second uh, system the third is stabilized until the final outer loop this outer loop you must obtain so by considering the system as separate what I'm, I'm, I mentioned uh, before so we have uh, the first system is you know it is a subsystem one which is a subsystem one and this is a subsystem two and we have to let a virtual input x2 is equivalent to two x2 is equivalent to two, uh, v which is our virtual input which is uh, uh, unknown but this v is equivalent to uh, in a stable system which is minus x1 minus uh, lambda x1 which is which is which must be a stable system i mean which must be a symptomatically stable system so look here this is our x x uh, minus one is uh, is equals to x one plus b because this v is equivalent to this v is equivalent to x two x two is equivalent to v which is a virtual input this v is uh, again equivalent to this uh, uh, asymptotically stable system by regulating lambda here so for all uh, lambda is greater than uh, zero for all lambda greater than zero the, our system our controller our virtual input is equivalent to this so then the controller of the subsystem x dot is uh, uh, minus one suppose we have x1 dot uh, as press derivative of uh, the system is you know x1 x1 plus x2 as uh, we know x1 plus x2 where x2 uh, is again equivalent to a uh, uh, virtual input v this a uh, virtual input v is equivalent to uh, minus x1 